Okay. For Dr. Um, Zakir. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Um, my name is Aslam Rauf and I'm a student studying uh, biology right now. And my teacher is teaching me evolution now. And I was wondering about the Islamic answer to evolution right now. If you could explain uh, briefly um, what Islam says on the topic of evolution and creationism. The brother asked a question. Biology in the Quran and regarding evolution, two questions the brother asked. I don't know whether I can answer both or not. I don't mind. One. one, which one? First one or second one? Biology or evolution? Evolution will be good. Evolution will be good. Are you good. choosing or he's choosing? <laughs> <laughs> because he had the question for evolution, I think it'll be good. Two questions. Biology first, then evolution. evolution. If you give me 10 minutes, I'll answer both. No, no. Only in five minutes, whatever you can do. Okay, fine. I agree with the chairperson, Mr. Samuel Noman. I'll answer on evolution. The exact answer you can refer to my video cassette, Quran and Modern Science. Regarding when you talk about evolution, you start thinking about Darwin's theory. And Darwin went on a ship, HMS Bugle, to an island by the name of Calatropis, and he saw birds pecking at niches. Based on that observation that the beaks of the birds became long and short, he propounded the natural selection. But he wrote a letter to his friend, Thomas Thompson, in 19th century. He said that I do not have proof to propound my natural selection, but because it helps me in classification of embryology, of rudimentary organs, I have put forth this. Darwin's theory is not a fact at all. It is only a theory. And I made it very clear in the beginning of my talk, Quran can go against theories. Because theories take U-turns, but Quran will not go against any established fact. And in our school, we are taught about Darwin's theory as though it's a fact. It's not a fact. There is no scientific proof at all. There are missing links. Therefore, if someone has to insult his friend, his colleague, he will say, if you were present at Darwin's time, Darwin's theory would have been proved right, insinuating he looks like an ape. <laughs> there are missing links to Darwin's theory. And I know about the four fossils that are present, the hominoids, the Lucy, Australopithecus, with his guide, the Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, cro magnan For details, refer to my video cassette. By molecular biology, according to Hans S. Craig, he said it is impossible that we can be evolved from apes by DNA coding. It's impossible. You can refer to my video cassette. It gives the detail. Some parts I've got no objection regarding biology. Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 30, that we have created every living thing from water. Will you not then believe? Today we know that every living creature, the basic substance, the cell, contains cytoplasm, which has about 90% water. Every living creature in the world has approximately 50 to 90% water. Imagine, in the deserts of Arabia, who could have imagined that everything is made of water? Quran says that 1400 years ago. Time the field, like. Thank Please. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now start the questions on slips.